Hey, um, I'm kind of sick right now, so that's why I, I sound weird. But Purdue won, gladly. I was getting kind of nervous there that we were going to lose to Penn State, and that was going to be really concerning if we did. But we won, and, and Mason Gillis had a really good game. He had like 14 points and 5 rebounds, good defense. Good game for him. Zach Eady was decent. Jaden Ivey got off to a slow start, but as the game went along, he got better. He scored in double figures, and he had like six assists with seven rebounds and a steal or two, so pretty good game for him. Uh, Isaiah Thompson was a bit rough. Didn't turn the ball over a lot, which is, I mean, that's his job, so can't get too upset about that. Trevion Williams had like 21 points with nine rebounds and a block, despite being in foul trouble. Pretty impressive for him. Caleb Purse was okay. Um, Ethan Morton on defense was good. And Eric Hunter Jr. on defense was good, but both Morton and Hunter Jr. on offense were not the best. We'll just say that. It's also questionable of Matt Painter to take Brandon Newman out of the rotation entirely today. That was an interesting decision, considering he's a good scorer, and we could have used scoring, but, you know. Glad we won. I, if we lost again, that would have been really concerning. Big in in conference play, anything can happen. I mean, the from the TV you could hear like the vibe, the vibe in Penn State was just crazy. Like their fans, crazy loud. So as a player, it was probably interesting to get some, you know, get in a good mental space, get some momentum going your way stuff like that you know when you're the away team in a really loud venue it's tough it's tough um yeah but I mean, there's nothing really else to say it did come down you know, trevion williams in crunch time i i i i think you'd be hard pressed to find someone better than trevion williams in the clutch I mean, the guy just goes to work in the paint, and as soon as he hit <coughs> under two minutes, he just turns into an absolute beast. And usually he hits his free throws, even though he's not that good of a free throw shooter. And today, he was like three for four, I think. So, 75%, I believe. Pretty pretty good for a guy that only shoots like 58% from the free throw line on the season. So good for him. I would hope that he's been practicing his free throws considering he's getting and ones and fouls and stuff like that in the paint. And late in the game, those free throws can really matter. So I would hope that he's been practicing his free throws. I think he has. I think he's improved a lot um, from the start of the season to now when it comes to free throw shooting. I mean, with how 2018 went, free throw shooting is kind of a big deal when you think about it. If you guys remember the, the Villanova game in 2018. Or the Virginia game in 2018. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm, yeah. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny. And I am sorry if I don't have energy. I'm, I'm kind of sick. So it's hard to get hyped like that. See you guys next time. Just got unlucky with on a few plays tonight. You know, one of those, one of those plays, I thought he was standing still. But he just hit the shit out of that one guy, and the guy went flying. They blew the whistle, and they called it on him.